this episode we are going to see the request data returned by the validation in the new Laravel 5.5. With that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel 5.5 and its cool features. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like Bitfilms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see what we have. We have this form and this form is like here. We have bootstrap form, this class for making it at the center and this if statement for if we have the errors then loop through each errors and show errors in this alert alert danger class of bootstrap then i have the form so i'm going to submit on the store route which is here you can see post store route which is going to send the data to store function in new controller and new controller is here and we have this function store function in the new controller which is going to validate the request we are giving so after that we have this first name the name of the field is f name then here is l name and everything is good and same thing i have done for level 5.4 so we are going to see the difference between 5.5 and 5.4 here is the same form and here i have l55 that means level 5.5 dot dev and here is l54 5.4 dot dev okay so let's get to start and let's first submit this page without entering any data so submit yes we are getting two errors let's check it on 5.4 yeah 5.4 everything looks same but here is that new difference so suppose after validation you want to save the user information like user then create then what you will do you will give every field name like f name then l name this is good for two fields but imagine if you have 10 fields 20 fields on a form then then you have to type each and every field name here and here also but in the level 5.5 it is eliminated because you can directly get the data from the validation so i will say after validation is equal to this that means when the validation is successful then it will give all the data from these validation fields inside the after validation function you can name it anything so let's just return this after validation function and after validation and let's do same thing on 5.4 also so here is the 5.4 and let's oh here is the 5.4 let's do the same thing on level 5.5 also so i will create 5.5 and firstly let's see we are returning this variable that means after validation that means whenever validation complete it should return the data so firstly check on level 5.4 here is the 5.4 refresh submit giving error that's nice but let's put data submit uh, nothing happens because it is level 5.4 and let's do the same thing on level 5.5 a and a submit this and you can see it's now returning the data it's even returning the data and if you are having many fields and you have two kind of validation for let's say two table one validation has only some kind of field let's say one field only for now so here i am uh, we have to go to level 5.5 so let's inspect this for only one field so when i will submit this with only one field because last name i am not going to validate hit submit and you can see it's only going to return the first name so that means the field you are validating is only going to return after validation is successful so this is very useful when you have large number of field and then you don't have to type the field name two times one for validation and one for create even for update so this is request validation returning data and if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me and don't forget to subscribe bitfumes on youtube like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye